Hello everybody and welcome to a little game that I'm sure some of you are familiar with. It's called Pokemon, but not any Pokemon that you would normally play like an emulator or something like that. This is Pokemon the trading card game online. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. What? First place sperms of a nerd? I'm... To put it nicely, yeah, I'm a nerd. At least I'd like to think so, but I'm not too good at this so you know I'm I'm gonna yeah let's just let's, let's just go so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm not gonna face an actual person because I'm not that good I do have some decks but so I've been playing and I've uh, tested out things and I defeated everyone in the gold division so there are different leagues and opponents that you can face and as you can see there's like a total of 12 opponents here, and I defeated all of them four times each with my different decks. So you're given, at least how I s believe it's done, is you're given three decks to start with, and this is a deck that I purchased with my own money. A Bright Tide deck, it's an okay deck. So now I'm moving on to the Platinum League, which is actually harder than the Gold League, believe it or not. So I just wanted to do a little battle here show you guys excuse me show you guys the ropes you know if you guys don't know what Pokemon is or if you don't know how to play the Pokemon trading card game so let's uh let's do this let's show you guys how it's done um and maybe afterwards I'll play against an actual person with a deck that I built so you start off with you draw seven cards and you have to choose which Pokemon you want to be your active Pokemon then your opponent chooses their active Pokemon, and then you can, if you want to, put Pokemon in your bench. Normally you can only have five Pokemon on your bench at a time, but there are exceptions to that rule. Such as if you play a Stadium card, which I don't think I have any in this deck, but I'm not completely sure. So I'm going to play an item, which this one is a great ball and it allows me to look at the top seven cards of my deck. If I find a Pokemon there, I can reveal it and put it into my hand. And then afterwards, I must shuffle the deck. So here I have Articuno, Gyarados, Psyduck, Doduo, and Goldeen. I'm going to get Articuno because it's a legendary first off. Pretty cool. And I'm going to put it on my bench. Now I'm going to... I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm just going to... Use a Dive Ball. Actually, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get, what do I have? I have Vaporeon. I'm going to get Magikarp. Actually, I'm going to get Gyarados because there's two Magikarps, but only one Gyarados. Hopefully, I can get a Gyarados, I mean Magikarp, right now. The support card I'm playing makes it so that each player shuffles their hand into their deck and then draws a number of cards for each of their remaining prize cards. Prize cards are these cards right over here. So I got nothing too big. So I'm just going to... I'm going to boost up Lapras right now. I'm going to end my turn, and then they go. I'm talking things out because, you know, in case people don't know. They just played Acrobike, which allows them to look at the top two cards of their deck, which is this thing. And they can choose one, and then they have to discard one. Oh, I can... Evolve, not upgrade, a Pokemon into Dodrio. My Doduo is now Dodrio. Now, I realize I made a grave mistake because I got Gyarados and then I used N to shuffle my hand back into my deck. I'm still very new at this, if you can't tell. I'm going to give you another one energy. I almost said water, but I guess it is a water energy, so. I made a lot of mistakes, actually. I just realized. Let's play Wally. Can redeem myself a little bit. Wally lets me evolve a Pokemon. So, they're doing their thing. The goal is to knock out all the Pokemon 
not necessarily knock out all Pokemon. The goal is to either get all of your prize cards, knock out all the Pokemon that they have and are on their bench, or of course they can concede. Or deck out, and deck out is when they draw out their cards until they have no cards left. Well, there's really nothing I can't do, so let's get... Professor's Letter? Yeah, I don't have any energies, so let's do that. Professor's Letter gets allows me to get two basic energies. Boom. So this might seem like a lot for now, guys, and for that I apologize, but... That's how things are, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I cannot retreat either. Don't know why. Perhaps I've made a mistake. Oh, it's on your bench. Never mind. I made a mistake. Boom. So to retreat, that means that you have to discard X amount of energies. You can see right there the little star thing. That's how many energies are required. I'm going to switch it out with Lapras and attack the Pidove with Water Splash. Boom, and I just got, I defeated him, so I'm gonna draw a prize card. Water Energy. Unless you have an item that allows you to look at it, you generally cannot tell what your prize cards are. They're not always gonna be like super awesome cards, so because they're called prize cards doesn't mean that they're necessarily prized. They're just cards that you get as a prize for defeating their Pokemon. So in fact, I should do. No, not really. I can give a healing scarf. I want to give a healing scarf to Gyarados though, so let's just hold on to it for now. Just draw another prize card. Boom. I really like the water type. So, we'll scrunch. Prevent all damage on this Pokemon by attacks. Okay. It's a valid move. Let's just do this. Um, I have two energies in this card pile. Put up to four. If I don't draw an energy next round, then I will gladly use that. Still can't attack him. It's fine. Bench basic Pokemon. Uh, why not? Let's me draw an extra card. Oh, water energy. Look there. Looky there. Boom. Oh, now it's barrel. Please tell me. Oh gosh, it has continuous headbutt. So asleep is a status effect, a condition, I believe, is what they call it. And it puts your Pokemon to sleep, obviously. And every turn and between every turn, you have to flip a coin. If it's heads, your Pokemon wakes up. If it's tails, then it falls asleep. It stays asleep. See, I just got heads, so now it's awake. And I'm back asleep. He's probably going to keep on doing this. If I can get a heads early on before hand, then that would be fantastic. I'm going to give this water energy to Articuno. Uh, not done. I skip my not skip my what finish end my turn. I'm really bad at speaking. Sorry guys. Sparkling robe. I don't know what sparkling robe does. Pokemon types can't be affected by any special conditions. What he just did is he just did continuous headbutt, which does 80 damage times the number of heads. Oh my goodness, that is really strong. Holy crap! Give you that healing scarf. Maybe I can, you know, at least get a little bit. One more turn, maybe. That won't work, never mind. I did the math wrong. Oh, goodness. This is no bueno. I'm awake. So how about you use Yawn again? Oh, you're not attacking. I don't know why. Don't quite understand these guys yet. Let's give you a water energy. Just for a good, uh... What should I call it? Good falling back on whatever I don't know how to speak and he's skipping his turns again this is a computer so they don't always necessarily do the smartest move he could knock me out pretty quickly here I don't know why he isn't maybe he's trying to show off 
and I got a Goldene and a Sea King, so I will evolve Goldene and a Sea King in my next turns. Lunge. You do nothing. Yeah. Ooh, Magikarp as well. That's good. I said a Magikarp. Okay, let's Water Splash you. If this is heads, I win. And I win. Because he is out of benched Pokemon, so I just draw a price card automatically, and I win. Victory. Look at there. Boom. Do 500 damage to both Pokemon with your Pokemon. Nice. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe for more. I'll probably be playing this game more because I've been playing it a lot lately. In the next episode, we'll go over some of my decks that I've made. They're not the best decks, but you know what? Why not go over them? So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.